Hi, I'm Amelia and welcome to my vlog, So Amelia, where I talk about making a handmade wardrobe for me and my children. In this week's vlog, I am sharing my top 10 sewing patterns for autumn. Thanks to those of you who have subscribed so far, it's great to have you here sharing my sewing journey. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would mean so much to me if you did. Just click on the subscription button below and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I publish future vlogs. To start with, I'm going to mention what I'm wearing today, and that is the Orchid Day dress by Deer and Doe Patterns. This is a lovely midi dress pattern with a deep v-neck and bridal buttons at the front, and I made it in four different colours of yarn dyed gingham that I bought from Minerva. It's been such a fun and floaty dress to wear in the summer and we are having a lovely hot day today so I'm really enjoying wafting about in this one today. Deer and Doe have extended the size range on this one I believe but the pattern that I currently have is in sizes 34 to 46 but I believe they have extended the size range so do check it out on their website if you're interested in making this one. So on with the video. So the first dress that I love wearing in the autumn is my rosary apparel hazel dress. I wear this one all year long. In summer I love to layer it with a t-shirt and then in the autumn I'll wear it with a three-quarter length shirt underneath or a blouse and then going into the winter I'll wear it with a jumper and tights and boots. It's such a fantastic dress and it transitions so well between seasons. It comes in two different size bands, size 4 to 14 and size 14 to 24 and there is a link to it in the description box if you'd like to check it out. I should mention all of the patterns that I'm mentioning today are definitely beginner friendly. The next dress that I love for autumn is the Friday Pattern Company Davenport dress. I'm sure this one is great in the summer too, but the version that I made is in a lawn from Fabric Godmother, which is in a navy colour. So I have been waiting to wear this one really until we get into the autumn. I think also the length of the sleeves means it's a great transitional piece. And I plan on wearing this layered up with a nice chunky woolen vest over the top. So they describe this one as the perfect throw on and go dress and I do agree it really is a great outfit all in the one dress. It has lovely flutters at the top of the sleeves, full sleeves which are gathered into an elastic at the wrist and it has a lovely tie at the waist so there's no buttons or tricky closures to sew into this one. It can just be pulled over your head and you're good to go. This pattern comes in sizes extra small to 7x so it has a great size range and again it's linked in the description below. The third pattern that I love for both autumn and winter is the Nina Lee Camden Pinafore and Skirt. Now I have only made this in the pinafore so far but I cannot wait to make it as a skirt in a corduroy and I think it will be a really central piece in my autumn and winter wardrobe. I really like wearing the pinafore layered up over a turtleneck or a roll neck sweater and I plan to make a few Tilly in the Button Freya tops to layer underneath it as well. So the Freya is a Tilly in the Buttons pattern and it's made in cotton jersey so it's slightly lighter than my woolen turtleneck sweaters but it looks like a turtleneck and so it's a great layering piece for the autumn to pop underneath my Camden pinafore. So this pattern has a v-neck with a close fitting bodice and waistband with princess seams and then it fits into a skirt which has patch pockets on the side of it and lovely top stitching and it comes in sizes 6 to 20. The fourth pattern that I really love wearing in the autumn is my Megan Nielsen Brumby skirt. I do wear this one in the summer as well but the version that I'm showing you today is made in a cotton ecat and because it's a dark black base for this fabric I think it works really well in the autumn. I do sometimes wear this with a t-shirt if it's a warmer autumnal day but then I can easily layer it up with a jumper on the top and then tights and boots as it gets even colder. The Brumby skirt is a lovely, lovely pattern. It's a full A-line skirt. It's got a beautiful curved waistline that sits on your natural waist and lovely big feature pockets at the front. It also has an exposed zipper on the back, but I haven't made that version yet. I've always just put an invisible zip in because I prefer that look. So you can do either and the pattern is really well written with great instructions. So it's definitely beginner sewist friendly. You can make this in a variety of fabrics. I think it would work really well in a light, perhaps needle cord, and that would give it quite a structured shape. Or you can make it in a viscose or a lawn, and that would give it a lovely drapey sort of flowing shape. The Brumby skirt comes in sizes 0 to 20, and Megan Nielsen now also has a curve range for her patterns, so you can also find this one in her Brumby curve range in sizes 14 to 30. The last pattern I'm going to mention is the Tilly and the Buttons Billy sweatshirt and dress. I have made this both as a sweatshirt and as a dress, and I really love the dress in the autumn. I made mine in a French terry, and it was quite a light French terry, so it is a great one to wear as it's getting colder. I enjoy layering mine up with tights and boots, and I've also really enjoyed wearing 
the jumper as an extra layer on cooler nights in the summer. The pattern comes with beautiful balloon sleeves or you can make it with simple sleeves. It's a crew neck with either a ribbed neckband or you can make it from the same fabric if it has enough stretch. The top finishes on the high hip and the dress is a mini dress although I have just added four or five inches to the length of mine to make a finish at my knees. This comes in Tilly sizes 1 to 15, which is a UK 6 to 34. It's definitely a beginner friendly pattern and there are very helpful videos on Tilly's website if you need help with sewing this one. Now the next five patterns are ones that I have not yet sewn, but they're very much on my list as we transition into autumn. The first one is the Liberty of London Thea boho sleeved blouse. I just adore the look of this one. I love the sleeves with the deep cuffs and I think this would be a great extra layer tucked into skirts and high-waisted jeans and then I can throw a jumper on over the top as it gets cooler or my knitted vest. I think that's going to come in handy a lot this autumn. So this shirt is a loose fitting shirt with gathers and it has short or full sleeves. In fact there are quite a few options on the pattern cover so I think it's a great bang for your buck. It comes in sizes 6 to 22 so not a huge range but I just think this one would be gorgeous as an autumnal blouse. My seventh pattern is the Sew Over It Neve skirt. Now this is their most recent pattern release and I think this is going to be the most beautiful autumnal skirt. I think it would work brilliantly in the summer as a long maxi skirt which is one of the options but I feel like the midi skirt over some converse trainers or boots would be great as we head into autumn and then the mini skirt I think would be great layered over tights with boots and a chunky knit on the top as we head into the winter. It comes in two size bands, sizes 6 to 20 and size 18 to 30. So the Neve skirt is gathered into a beautiful yoke with a deep V and it's fitted around the hips and then flows from there. I think this one would work best in viscose or lawn and other more drapey fabrics. My eighth pattern to suggest for this autumn is one that has been seen quite a lot already on social media and that is the Peppermint Magazine Milton Pinafore. I love the look of this one. It's such um, a fun pattern with really interesting details. It has crossover straps button closures down the back and a fitted waistband. You could definitely layer this one over a t-shirt in the summer and then heading into the autumn and winter you could definitely layer it over a turtleneck sweater and I think this would look really cute with converse trainers or even as we get into the colder months some chunky boots. You can wear this dress with either the straps straight or crossed at the back for more support and there are bust darts in the panels over the chest. Sizes 34 to 46 are drafted for a B and C cup and sizes 46 to 60 are drafted for a double D cup. This is a free pattern available on the Peppermint Magazine website and it looks like you can make most sizes from two yards of fabric which is really good. The ninth pattern is another free pattern and this one is by Mood Patterns and it's their Aster Pants. I'm seeing wide legged pants all over Instagram and social media at the moment and I just love them. I'm a big wide legged pants fan anyway so this pattern would suit me really well. These are pleated trousers with a high waist and you can make them either cropped or full length. They suggest that you make it from suiting fabric for a more structured look and for a more drapey look you could make it from voile or lawn. I really fancy making these in a nice cotton twill or even a tensile twill and I think they would be great on my bike cycling around in the autumn. They come in sizes US 2 to 30, so that's a waist of 24 and a half inches through to a waist of 49 and a half inches. My 10th pattern is the Vicky Sews Nikki sweater. So it would be great to have just another casual sweater to throw on over the top of my dresses and I particularly like this one because it is cropped. It's quite a loose fit sweater with quite long sleeves but I really like that. It looks very snugly and warm. It is a drop sleeved sweater and the sleeves are sewn on in the flat and then it's made for a ribbed neckband. They suggest quite a firm knit fabric so either a sweatshirt fleece or a heavy French terry and this one is also free. Now Vicky Sews patterns come in four different height bands for 154 centimeters to 184 centimeters in height and then the sizes are 34 to 52 so you can buy both for your size and for your height which is really great. This does look like quite an oversized cropped sweater so I think if I am to make this one I will probably size down. Now I couldn't help but throw in a bonus pattern and that is a pattern for a coat. Now this is a very recent release by Megan Nielsen Patterns and it is her Hovea coat. I hope I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> when I saw this pattern I immediately thought it would be a great transitional coat for the autumn. There are so many different views for this, I'm going to pop them on the screen and you can go to her website and have a look at them. She suggests that you make these with a slightly lighter fabric, even a cotton, and you can then line it and even quilt it. It comes in multiple lengths, cropped length, 
hip length and then a mid thigh length and it's finished with beautiful deep pockets and bias binding. You can make it with a neckband or you can just finish it with the binding as you prefer and it can be closed with either a tie or a waist belt. You can make it unlined, fully lined or you can quilt it and it comes in sizes 0 to 20 or in her curve range for sizes 14 to 34. I have to confess I have already bought some quilted fabric for this one and I'm going to use the scraps from my daughter's smocked dress that I made her in Liberty Fabric for the binding. I think that will go really well with the fabric I've chosen. So do come back for my October plans video because the Hevea coat will definitely be in that. I can't wait to make this one. So I hope you enjoyed those autumnal patterns and I hope there's one in there that is tempting you to make it for this autumn. I think there are so many great patterns out there. It was really hard to limit myself to 10. So thanks so much for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye.